Good evening, people. Watch number 65, Lisa Boyce. I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ shed his blood for all of our sins, past, present, and future, was buried and rose again on the third day, according to scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone. I have to keep going over the same gospel, and I've been doing it for the past two years because people got it mixed up. We are saved by grace through faith in Christ alone. There's no if, no but, no and. Alone, period. It is grace through faith in Christ alone. Not of ourselves, not of works, as any man should boast. It is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve, that God gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. How do you come to that? You acknowledge the fact that you're a sinner in need of Christ. The moment you put your faith and trust in Christ Jesus, the moment you accept Christ as Savior, not only are you saved, but you are justified by the blood of Jesus. You are rapture ready, which is going to happen at any time, and you're sealed until the day of redemption, which means you cannot and will not lose your salvation. The Holy Spirit indwells in you. The Holy Spirit will lead you, guide you. The Holy Spirit is your best friend. The Holy Spirit will change you, minister to you, encourage you, give you discernment, all of that. I got to give you this article. So this is an update about Credit Suisse. Um, and I guess... Um, I guess USB or UBS buys them. So it goes on to say there must have been a very big and nasty details on the books of Credit Suisse because UBS has agreed to buy its rival for only $3.2 billion. Prior Credit Suisse has a market capitalization of about $7 billion. So the UBS buy is less than a dollar a share. That's awful. UBS agreed to buy is embattled rival Credit Suisse for 3 billion Swiss francs, which is about $3.2 billion. Uh, some of this I've already been over, but I guess this came out earlier. About, I think about an hour or two ago. So, um... With the takeover of Credit Suisse by UBS, a solution has been found to secure financial stability and protect the Swiss economy in the exceptional situation, read a statement from the Swiss National Bank, which noted the central bank work with, with the Swiss government and the Swiss Financial Market Supervisory Authority to bring about the combination of the country's two largest banks. The terms of the deal will see Credit Suisse um, shareholders receive one UBS share for every 22.48 Credit Suisse shares they hold. This acquisition is attractive for UBS shareholders, but let us be clear, as far as Credit Suisse is concerned, this is an emergency rescue. We have structured a transaction which will preserve the value left in the business while limiting our downside exposure, said UBS Chairman Colm Kellenher in a statement. The combined bank will have $5 trillion of invested assets, according to UBS. Now, the Saudis will not be happy about this. Considering that shareholders didn't even get a vote, I would think that they are, that they see the writing on the wall and begin selling off assets as quickly as possible. God only knows what tomorrow is going to bring in the stock market. 
I suspect it goes he goes on to say I suspect they are going to instigate a run for the exits and with their size they will not want to do it slowly and again he says tomorrow is going to be a very 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 interesting day so assuming that UBS credit default swaps or you or CDS don't jump 100 BPS and nullify the deal he goes on to say, I suppose even if they do, the Swiss National Bank will just change the contract and force it down their throat anyway. Um, this was ugly. Credit Swiss is no more. It technically collapsed. Then the government changed the laws in real time and made UBS buy it with a bailout. They broke the law and refused to allow rightful owner shareholders to, U, uh, to UBS to vote and dictated the sale. Rules and laws to them are damned. So now what's going to happen is a wait and see game. That's basically what it is. It is definitely a wait and see game. And we shall, we shall see with the opening tomorrow of the stock market. They're feeding this thing over and over and over again. It says the entire Western system is now broke and fraud. They rigged the rules to their favor. No one goes to jail and all the shareholders just got robbed for billions, which is what I've seen. He goes on to say that all the banks are basically cutting off one finger at a time and all is misdirection. So it says, now he just updated this a few minutes ago. How long? No, about an hour or so ago. So this is just in. So 16 billion Swiss francs, which is $17.3 billion of credit Swiss. And CS bonds have become worthless. After the takeover by UBS. This announcement from Swiss Financial Monetary Authority, FINMA, Credit Suisse, and this is what it says, and I quote, Credit Suisse has been informed by FINMA that FINMA, again, Swiss Financial Monetary Authority, has determined that Credit Suisse's additional Tier 1 capital, in other words, deriving from the insurance of Tier 1 capital notes, in the aggravate uh, nominal amount of approximately CHF 16 billion. Listen to this. This is now this gave me chills. Will be written off to zero. That just came in. Written off to zero. So, I don't even know what to say about that. Now, he goes on to say here, I don't want to be seen as some sort of Chicken little, the sky is falling, but do you all realize what this has done? The rules are no longer the rules of the West. The law is no longer the law. The Saudis and other investors have just watched the rules and the law go literally out the window in this situation. And they are left holding a bag of almost worthless stock and literally worthless bond paper. And I, I'm, I'm looking at this and I'm speechless. If you were the Saudis, Arabs, and you had hundreds of billions of your oil profit money sitting in Western banks, what 
Wow. Because it's clearly no longer safe. If you, it can be grabbed by the West with no notice, no recourse within seconds. If the Saudis come to the same conclusion that we just did, this is now realistically what we can expect. I'm going to link this article in the description box. This is, um, this is quickly coming to an end. Very fast. I'm going to link this in the description box and I will be back. If anything else comes up, I'll be back later. Thank you.